Hello, um, this is your coach class and welcome to this um, online tutorial about the two papers we had uh, to discuss today. Uh, what happened really was that some of you, or a lot of you actually, in your post-it notes said that you wanted to uh, a further discussion of the papers. And of course because we had lots of things to do we couldn't achieve that, but I am responding to that by uh, posting these uh, two uh, YouTube videos. So I hope you like it and I hope you can take a lot from it. Uh, if you still have doubts, if you want to discuss, either come to my office, C56, or write me an email. So let's get on to it. So my first video is about uh, William Gartner's paper. And really, William Gartner is trying to uh, look at a, a central question of entrepreneurship uh, about the question of how do we research entrepreneurship. So before Gartner published this paper, people were looking at finding, trying to find the main characteristics of entrepreneurs so they can support winners. If you had an idea of how you'd find these entrepreneurs, you can then support them. But what, basically what, what Gartner is saying is that, hang on a minute, this has gone too far and it's been very difficult to find a set of stable characteristics. So what we should be doing is, let's study the people that actually start companies. So let's let's see how he does it, right? So he starts with a, a quotation from Cole, and and one of the uh, reasons why he does that because Cole uh, was a famous uh, Harvard uh, scholar that he supported this this uh, view of of uh, entrepreneurship, and you know Cole himself, with all the Harvard resources, couldn't really uh, find a useful definition and move uh, research entrepreneurship research forward. So so that's why he's. That's why he's really uh, starting with this, um, with this uh, quotation from Cole. Uh, when we're looking at a paper, it's always important to see where, what's the purpose of the paper. And, and Gardner says the purpose of the paper has um, a first part and a second part. The, part. the purpose of the first part is really to look at the research based on the trade view. And the second part is to introduce the behavioral approach. So let's look at the first part. The trait basically is uh, what people consider that there was a set of characteristics uh, for entrepreneurs. Uh, you would consider this, you know, either you agree with it or disagree with it. Uh, this is a view that we tended to, um, that it's a, a, an old view of, of entrepreneurship research. So we tend to adopt the view that, uh, a behavioral view of entrepreneurship, just, just for your reference. Um, there's a lot of, 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 of tables here, and what Cole is trying, to, or what uh, Gartner is trying to do, uh, is to demonstrate that he knows he's read a lot of the research uh, based on this. Um, and you know, there's lots of tables around here. I'm going to uh, rotate this clockwise so we have a, a better view of um, of the uh, tables. Um, and obviously, the tables they kind of like really, you know, we've gone too far. If you if you look at you know Ornaday and Bunker. Um, 20 individuals from the Boston area manufacturing at least five years old, you know, self-reliance, energy level, you know, what's the energy level? Um, you know, you've got a lot of energy, um, you know, uh, affiliation, what's affiliation? Um, so, you know, what Garner is trying to say is that this has gone too far. So there's tables and tables and tables, you really lose the will to live on these tables. Um, and, and what he's trying really to do is to demonstrate how you can... Um, can can do a lot of work and go nowhere. So basically, he proposes this uh, through a story and the story of the baseball and and all of that. I think the tone of the story is really not not great. But but at a certain point, he kind of like goes into business and he starts proposing that we look at what he calls behavior. And behavior is really entrepreneurship is the creation of organizations. So if you create something, you're an entrepreneur. If you don't create anything, you can be an entrepreneur, even if you have a basic set of characteristics. If you don't do it, you're not an entrepreneur. If you do it, you are. Um, you know, and he gives a couple of examples here on, on page 16. But his main concern really is for other people to take this research and move it forward. So he's got a section on implications for research on entrepreneurship. So one of the things he says is, you know, what kind of activities does instead of a manager, if you replace the word manager here for entrepreneur, what kind of activities does an entrepreneur perform? Um, what are the characteristics of his work? So when he has to do some work, when he starts a company, what are the characteristics of the starting up activities? What are the flow of activities? You know, so, so he uses, he, he builds again on shoulders of giants, in this case on Mitzenberg, 
um, again a big name in strategy to um, uh, develop these theories and obviously his conclusion actually you kind of thinking this conclusion is going to be big but his conclusion is quite short as you can see but but his really his conclusion is we cannot distinguish what the entrepreneur is from what the entrepreneur does and these two have to be studied together so if we kind of like separate them and say you know you can be an entrepreneur without entrepreneuring um, we're going to end up with a lot of research problems so this is his main theory I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have anything to say just email me or come to see me or post comments online thank you very much for watching